Hi, I'm Red from Loving Life Hitched Up. Today we're at the Hershey Show and we're going to take you on a tour of the Intex Soul Eclipse. We are inside the Soul Eclipse, which is in the Soul line. And this difference on this one is this is a rear dinette setup. So in the rear dinette setup, unlike, setup, unlike the others like the Horizon, the, uh, the Dawn, this puts your dinette in the rear. You still have three giant windows here, two of which open, giving you great cross ventilation. And as you could only imagine, there is only one spot in here that turns into a bed, and that's this spot. So your dinette's going to double as a uh, sleeping area. So this, so this table is really nice. It does rotate, giving you that ability to access in and out. You have some nice storage areas over at here for clothing or any items that you'd want to bring. They have great magnetic catch. As you can see, I struggle to get it open, so these aren't going to pop open while you're driving down the road. Recessed overhead lighting, nice cushions here. I'm checking to see if we have storage under here. Yes, there is storage underneath this. So as you can see, there's a storage area accessible from the exterior as well. So interior and exterior storage. Little uh, shelves in the back corner with reading lamps. So at night, if this is your uh, sleeping area, you have access to that dual USB port over here for charging all those devices that we've all come very accustomed to and a 110 outlet single touch oh, not working on this main lights give you the ability to turn on and off all the lights in there one of the sets of speakers inside of this unit and this is a hanging clothes rack if you uh, want to hang clothes here and this does fold up out of the way in the event that you don't feel like using it great uh, cubby over top here with the bungee to help hold your devices in, uh, stuff in storage so it doesn't fall out while you're going. Now, storage cabinet as you come out of this area, pretty decent size. TV that can rotate back to the dinette so you can watch. Controls underneath here for your Dometic air conditioning and heat, as well as a max air fan control uh, right here with. A rain sensor on this so if you get some rain it'll automatically close that overhead cabinet uh, counter in here is storage for your two cushions in this this cabinet area that are necessary to convert your dinette into a sleeping area works a little different you don't actually use the table this is a hard board on the bottom of this cushion so as you can see these legs uh, they fill in that spot underneath here so a little bit of a different setup so they built in a nice storage area specifically for that You have your wet bath, which is, if you're anything familiar with a Intec product, they're very much the same, very consistent in their product design. You have a great ceramic foot flush toilet, a shower wand, which is adjustable. You have a storage uh, bin on the left side. You can put all your devices for showering, uh, you know, your shampoos and all that great stuff, your hair products, and a waterproof toilet rack lighted inside. And it also comes with a vent. Now. I'm five foot eight. I have absolutely no qualms getting in here. I would say definitely somewhere up into the mid sixes, six three, six four, six five should be fine in here. I don't have a tape measure, but definitely nice couple of hooks over here for hanging towels. Again, like uh, I, I often like having windows and I do wish that they would figure out how to put a window in here. Even if it didn't open, I would just like to have that uh, open feel. Although not a deal breaker for me, I still think this is a great product and a beautiful roomy. I will point out one thing, in case you didn't notice, there is no sink in this bathroom. So brushing teeth and all that stuff that you might want to do has to take place in the only sink in the unit, which is up in the kitchen, is where we're going next. One of the great things I love about this layout that some people often overlook is the space. Because the dinette is tucked back there, all of this is wide open, usable people space. 
lots of room in here. You're not, you don't feel squeezed in and tight. It has a beautiful floor that stretches. It's that marine, woven marine type material uh, used in boats and yachts and stuff. Uh, very easy to clean up and really good on your feet. So front kitchen in this, this unit puts that big beautiful window right up here. So if you're a gourmet chef and you love spending time cook, cook, cooking while you're camping, you can't ask for better than this. Beautiful big window, all these storage cabinets overhead, and this goes way up into the brow. It's kind of hard to see way in the back there, especially on camera, but I can't even reach all the way back there. So I would have to put some kind of sliding trays or something to get all those things out. Again, additional bungee covered bins up here in the front with that blue light, more of your speaker system here. So you get four speakers in this, another storage cabinet overhead here. Um, you have bin, uh, bins on the side. This one, they give you netting. So it gives you even a little bit more. Keep all that great stuff in there. Nice amount of countertop up here, as you can see. The beautiful Dometic uh, igniter stove with a cast iron. It feels like cast iron to me. Uh, grates, which I really, really like. As I like to cook, so this, you know, this, this appeals to me a lot. Wide open space. Microwave, I don't microwave, so I would prefer that to be a storage area, but you know, it comes that way. Nice storage underneath. Again, maybe put your pots and pans or whatever you need to put down there. They make good use of all the space. This is a small camper, but they're going to use every space that they can. You have storage underneath the sink. Now you see this is where the backside of your propane is going to be. So you can store on top and there's underneath to the left side here, there is some room to put items over there as well. So it would be great if this was completely wide open, but you know, you got to, you got to have storage tank somewhere for your propane. On this side, you have your Dometic three-way fridge, gas, electric, and battery. And it is actually pretty decent size. It's the 8ER series. Freezer, fridge combo, and then you give you additional counter space uh, over top. This is one of the coolest things that you'll see throughout the entire Intec line is this big, beautiful, stainless steel farmhouse sink with a removable sprayer. So this is the only sink. Again, so like I said, there's none in the bathroom, but this is gonna give you that ability to go in here and uh, do what you gotta do, brush your teeth, so on and so forth. Plenty of counter space, more counter space. Fuse box up here for your breakers and your fuses, your Jensen DVD setup, and above that is your command control center. So you can check your tank, tank levels, batteries, you know, so on and so forth, your water pump, your tank heater. Again, this has heated tanks as well, extending out that, uh, you know, winter season. You have uh, 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 the ability to put your water heater on gas or electric as well. You're up here in the front. If you come around this side, you'll see that's where your battery disconnect switches, as well as dual USB ports and a 110, uh, 12 volt power port. And this is your max air fan right up here. Uh, with that rain sensor. Air conditioning in the center. Like I said, I'm 5'8". Absolutely no problems walking underneath this thing. So on the exterior of the, the uh, this is an Eclipse. This is not a Rover package. And we'll show you the difference of what you'll see between a Rover and a non-Rover. Some of it is the graphics, but as you can see, traditional tire and traditional height. So it is an option to get a Rover package, but we'll, we'll give you a, a look of another Rover package just so you can see. It does Graphics package on the Rover looks like tire tread. You get those more aggressive tires on here and, a, and an elevation. So you have a little more ground clearance. In the event you want to take this thing uh, on a less paved road. It does have a uh, awning on the top, dually awning. So it gives you a great amount of shade in this area of the camper while you're camping. And this is the exterior storage area. It goes pretty deep, I would say pretty much an arm's length and it goes all the way up to around here inside. So giving you a nice amount of space, long, you know, chairs, whatever else that you want to put in there. And I do love the magnetic latches. And as you can see, that flooring stretches all the way through from side to side inside the camper. Uh, and we really enjoy that dual uh, two 110 plugs outside. Nice step and the great screen door that I like. Gives you the ability to keep this open, get that additional um, uh, ventilation that you want, and also still uh, keep 
knocks those bugs out. And it does ma match right up to your big door and you close. And I love the doors on this with the rounded corners. Really, really, really nice with the magnetic latch that keeps this door open. Moving to the front, still getting that power jack. And again, this is where your dual uh, propane tanks are tucked up underneath there. Full aluminum frame, because this is an aluminum frame with an aluminum cage, and then your insides of your RV are built inside of that. So it's not a box on frame, and all the stuff is made by Intec. They reinforce the frame here on the sides in the event that you want to put a sway control and or weight distribution. And this is that big, beautiful window. Again, laminated glass, just like in your car, tinted and it has the attachment for a cover that they give you to put over that. So when you are driving, you're not uh, spending the first hour of your campsite time uh, scraping bugs off of the front. Blue light over, gives you that nice, soft, cool campground side. Really hard to get to the uh, mechanical side of this year. The first two sets of vents that you're gonna see are gonna be for your fridge, and then under that is gonna be your um, heater. Going back, another vent. You have a satellite hookup, a ZAMP solar hookup, 30 amp hookup, and then behind that, you're gonna get your, um, see I squeeze in here, walk on the wall. So here is your uh, dump right here underneath. And then you get to your ZAMP solar hookup. Behind that is gonna be a uh, connection for uh, cable, your 30 amp hot water heater, water fill, and then the second one back is going to be a uh, connection for a spray hose uh, on there. So that will be able to uh, hook up for an outside spray. And as you can see here on the camper itself, where all the cross members are for the cage because of the humidity changes. So this is spaces in between, and this is where you have your construction. So really nice frame built on this thing. Five things I love about the Intex Sole Eclipse. I love their dinette. Even though it's in the rear of the trailer, it's still very comfortable and still you have a view of that amazing window. Second thing is the sink. That sink is perfect. I love the floor. This Not only do I love the color, the texture, just and the feel of this floor. I also really like their sleek look in here. The white cabinets, it's just really pretty. I love the fact that it's so small and so easy to maneuver and they have great storage for such a small trailer. You can really spend a lot of time in this baby. If you enjoyed our tour, check out our channel because we have a lot more tours as well. Not just Intech products, but many other products as well. Please consider subscribing to our channel and hit that thumbs up. And remember, when you're out there loving life, do it hitch stuff.